A big green blob, that's what my Muplasm actually is. As this 5 mana cost Sultai creature enters the battlefield, it will exile 2 creature cards from graveyards. That means that you can actually exile from different graveyards. And it will come into play as a copy of one of them and plus 1 plus 1 counters on it equal to the power of the other one. And do remember that you actually have to exile two creatures to make this function. That means that if there's only one creature in all graveyards, you can't actually cast Mimeoplasm. What Mimeoplasm actually is, is a karmic guide in the command zone, or a body double in the command zone, you could say. It is basically a reanimator commander that will reanimate something you put into your graveyard. That is the trick with this commander. So let's see what combo we could actually make from this. Buried Alive becomes a one card combo for this commander. Cast Buried Alive. Reveal and put Necrotic Ooze, Walking Ballista and Phyrexian Devourer inside your graveyard. Follow up most likely on your next turn and cast your commander for 5 mana. Now eat and exile ne Necrotic Ooze so that your commander becomes a necrotic ooze. Then just eat whatever random creature card from any graveyard, just don't touch these two. Now, when your commander is a necrotic ooze, and you have these two creature cards still remaining inside your graveyard, you will have not infinite damage, but a lot of damage, depending on how much CMC cost you have inside the rest of your deck. What you're gonna do is that you're gonna activate the Phyrexian Devourer's ability for zero mana and exile the top card of your library. Put plus one plus seven counters on your commander equal to the CMC cost. Now Phyrexian Devourer is supposed to die when it reach a power of seven or greater. This is not going to happen because Necrotic Ooze only steals activated abilities. So what you can do is that you can eat your entire deck and this will have a lot of plus one plus one counters on it. And you can kill each opponent by just simply removing a plus one plus one counter to deal one damage. This means that we have a deck construction demand to make this combo function. For three opponents, you need to reach 120 plus one plus one counters. That means that our deck needs to contain a high seams cost overall. And Force of Will is a really good example. A five mana cost card that will give you five plus one plus one counters on your Necrotic Ooze and still we could cast it without paying mana for it. This means that we're not going to play Ad Nauseum, because how you make Ad Nauseum really effective is that you have a deck on an extremely low CMC cost overall, and we're doing pretty much the opposite. We would have a high CMC cost overall. Another possible one card combo could be to have Entomb cast it for one mana and put Rasaket inside your graveyard. Now cast your commander for five mana. All of this could happen on the same turn if you have six mana total. One for Entomb and five mana for your commander. Now you have Rasaket in play. Or well, a Maimuplasm in play that is a copy of Rasaket. However, this combo actually demands a little bit more of a setup. You need a creature, most likely that creature will be a dork, something that you can sacrifice, pay to life, sacrifice this, search your deck and find life and death. Cost life for one mana. Currently we've spent one mana for Entomb, five mana for the commander and one green mana for life. Total spent seven mana. Now all lands we have will transform into 1-1 one, one creature cards. That means that you can sacrifice your lands for Rasaket Tutors. Now sacrifice two lands and find Protean Hulk and Lion's Eye Diamond. Now proceed with casting Lion's Eye Diamond for zero mana, crack it for free black mana and discard Hulk down to your graveyard. Then sacrifice a third land. Total land sacrificed are three and life loss is six. Now dig and find whatever reanimator spell, like Animate Dead. Use two of the black mana that we have from Lion's Eye Diamond and cast Animate Dead targeting the Hulk. Now Hulk is in play. Activate Rasaket's ability once more and sacrifice the Hulk. Hulk triggers. From the first Hulk trigger, a total CMC cost of 6, we will find Vesir Seer and Body Double. Body Double will enter as a copy of Protean Hulk. 
that we now can sacrifice with Vizier Seer to get a secondary Hulk trigger. We actually don't need to grab Body Double, because we had one more Black Mana remaining from the Lion's Eye Diamond, and we did get one more Tutor effect from Rasaked, so we could grab, reanimate, cast it, and actually reanimate the real Protein Hulk instead of grabbing Body Double, if Body Double for some reason would be inside our graveyard. Then what we'd get from our secondary Hulk trigger is Mikael's Jan Hallowed and Walking Ballista, something we already showcased in a previous combo. Now, because of Mikael's Jan Hallowed, Walking Ballista has Undying, and Walking Ballista can remove plus one plus one counters from itself. It's not going to die from having zero plus one plus one counters because Mikael's Jan Hallowed gives it plus one plus one, but we can fix that by killing it with Visera Seer. So here we have infinite damage. Let's include a third combo. The only thing I really need to do is just include Flash. And I have the Flash Hulk combo. All the other cards are already used in other combos. Now Lion's Eye Diamond actually has great use inside this deck. Let's say that turn 1 you cast a dog, turn 2 put a secondary land in play and we have both Lion's Eye Diamond and Rasaket in our hand. Cast Lion's Eye Diamond, crack it for some mana, tap your dork in a land and cast your commander and now suddenly we have a Rasaket on turn 3. And we also have something that we can sacrifice. If we have more things that we can sacrifice, we can easily assemble the Flash Hulk combo. Survival of the Fittest is also a one card combo for this deck. Cast it, activate it and discard a random whatever creature from your hand like a land or elf. Then find Phyrexian Devourer and discard that one too. Find Walking Ballista and discard that one too. That then find Necrotic Ooze. Don't discard it, just cast it and you have the combo assembled. I don't think that Defense of the Heart is actually that good. A 4 mana cost enchantment that passes the turn and then activates if one opponent has 3 more creature cards in play. It will then be sacrificed and you can search your library for two creature cards and put those cards into play, like Rasaket and Protein Hulk, and you have the combo assembled. Still, it is a one card combo assembler, not the best one, however. Now, let's talk about the Mimeo Plasma in general. Compared to other Sultai commanders like Tassigur and Frasius, Mimeo Plasma doesn't have a card drawing ability. Instead, what Mimeo Plasma has is our ability to combine two creature cards power into one, making this into a really big and stompy blob. Giving this green devouring blob the potential of winning or well, killing opponents with commander damage, something Frasius can't do. But the deck that this green plasma creature pilots have to solve the card drawing problem, because the commander won't. On the same time, we wanted to have a deck that had a really high CMC cost to make Phyrexian Devourer into a potential win con. And here are two creatures that I actually like that will fix both of these things. 6-5 green creature cards for 7-6 and six mana. However, we're not going to cast these stupid creatures for that. We're going to cycle them. That will give us a card draw. But whenever you cycle these creatures, for the free mana cost, you will search your library for a basic land and put that card into your hand. That is basically free mana, instant speed, uncounterable, that will draw two cards, or well, draw one random card and one basic land. And the other one for four mana cycle, you will put that basic land into play. That's great. And because cycling can be done in instant speed, that means that we can have a mana open for counter spells, and if nothing happens in an opponent's end step, then you cycle and keep this remaining in your hand. Another worthy mention is Nimble Obstructionist, also a creature with cycling ability that will draw you a card in instant speed, but also when you cycle this, you can counter an activated or triggered ability. But these cards inside your graveyards are food for your big green commander. You can eat these creatures for the plus one plus one counters. This means that this becomes plus six plus six for your commander when you eventually cast your commander. So these three cards are helping you with a high CMC cost for your combo, helping you with card draw and giving your commander a power beatdown potential. Another card I would like to mention is Ground Seal, and I want to point out something, that Mimeoplasm actually don't target 
graveyards. This means that Mimiplas will bypass Ground Seal. And that means that Ground Seal will actually protect your graveyard. Oh yeah, Body Double doesn't target the graveyard either, by the way. But Deathrite Shaman does. Deathrite Shaman is actually a counter to this deck. And Ground Seal is a counter to the counter. And Ground Seal also draws you a card. But it will also interact and be a stacks piece against other kinds of reanimator decks. Alright, Ground Seal is actually a counter to some of our reanimator spells, like Death, Animate Dead, and Reanimate. Still a card to include, in my opinion. Here I have three other cards that could help us out great with card drawing, such as Search of Ascanta. We could easily fill our graveyard that will flip Search of Ascanta into a land that will impulse. And then Worth Infiltrator, that is a looter, attack, deal damage, draw a card and discard a card. And we could discard our big creatures that we wanna reanimate. And then this thing, Arcane Artisan, tap it, free mana, draw a card, this exile a card, and if that is a creature, you will put a token into play that's a copy of that creature. This means that we could activate Arcane Artisan, draw a card, and exile Rasaket. You would now get a token of Rasaket, and we actually have a creature that the Rasaket could sacrifice. And I want to point something out. This token is going to be exiled if this leaves play, but that will actually happen in your end step. That means that if we win this turn, it doesn't really matter if this token will be exiled in the end step. But Arcane Artisan could sit there and just grind some value. Draw a card and put a land or elf in play for free mana is quite okay. It's not terrible. And having the potential of doing this with Rasaket is great. I even think that you could put Tassigur the Golden Fang inside this deck. Just to remember who is the real boss. A deck that is focused on putting creature cards into its graveyard and could win from a one cost and tomb means that it could easily include Mausoleum Secrets as an instant speed tutor. Mausoleum Secrets could also find Fairy Machabre if you have three creature cards inside the graveyard and then exile two cards in graveyards for only two mana everything in instant speed. But Fairy Machabre could also help you fuel Mausoleum Secrets as you, you, you could just discard it. And it will have 2 power for your commander to give your commander plus 1 plus 1 counters of 2 when you cast your big blob. Now some of the cards that I have been showing you in this video are quite expensive, but it is possible to build this commander on a budget. Many of the cards that I've been showing you, and most of the combos that I've been showing you, except Rasaket and Lion's Eye Diamond, uh, the rest is pretty much on a budget. Walking Ballista actually do cost some money, but that's pretty much it. And in the description below of this video, you will find two links. One to a budget list with Mimeoplasm, and one with no budget whatsoever. A really expensive, high power Mimeoplasm deck. Now, Mimeoplasm might be the biggest fish swimming around in the Sultai Sea, but it's not the only one. Next video I make is going to be about Muldrotta. I hope to see you then. Meanwhile, have a good one.